to watch my Skadaga rain deck lose some more. You love all words with pie at the end, like the word pie. <laughs> we do what must be done. And um, apple pie. Cuppy's rain duration is based on the number of unique allied beasts in your starting deck. Ah, there we go. Spy. But that doesn't end with pie. Right, we have a megascope. This is going to be a rainy round. Uh, play a bronze non-neutral unit from your graveyard and give it doomed. Okay. So that's good for bringing those back, I see. Um, let's say we don't need two cultists. Hmm, don't need two of those either. Having one angler and one sea serpent makes that condition easier. Blessings for rounds two or three to get more messengers, yeah. So minus three from fish, plus two from kelpie. Maybe, but we're gonna, you know, if we get rid of all the rain anyway, does it matter? I don't know. The important thing is to understand who we're playing against. We're playing harmony of some kind. Whenever rain damages an enemy. Well, we don't have rain. Where's the cultist gone? There you are. Bring out a cultist. Lead us across wave crests. Lead us through storms. Sea Serpent can high roll. End up being like 15 points and killing an important enemy in it. Kraken in the round where you can, can't do it with Storm. This is the second time in like as many matches where the Q0 is being brought out by something. The same thing. Have people just realised that this thing exists for 10 provision and like, this is great. Is Mill... Mill is back, but everyone has it. Right, well let's... Chuck this out. Stick a messenger of the sea there. Um, end up being, yeah. You know what they say in that situation, if it's happened, you were already running. Your next move shall be your last. Disagree, Serpent reaching 10 plus happens even on matchups where you're losing despite having constant rain. All I know is that I don't know in which matchup it's better or not. Now we're about to lose this if they have another poison, which presumably they do. Now I can Megascope it. Except it's going to do it to the right of the Megascope, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and we kind of need more rain. We don't have any rain going on. Ah, oh, Tempest. So I can get lots of rain. But presumably I'd want to megascope it first. Because we still have one turn of rain here. Okay. So let's let's do that. You play both. You can change something else always. Oh, so when you say you play both, you mean both serpents and both anglerfish? Are you talking about other things now? Or maybe you're talking about playing both messengers? So many things we're talking about. I don't know which is worse. Okay, they did not kill the messenger. So now we bring out Tempest, I think. And sure. Both rows. Bring out my fish. I mean, he looks a bit lonely, which makes me feel bad. Um, slightly worried that we don't have a way to make that rain last any longer. Maybe I should have. 
done a shorter thing. We've also lost that messenger with the poison, which I suppose we knew the poison was going to come at some point. Um, I mean, we could extend with Beta Maker, but that's better when we have the Scepter. Sea Serpent could be good. Having no heat wave as well. Like taking a pedal. True. Um I mean we could bring back the messenger of the sea now, but we don't have rain. Let's just play this. What are we gonna hit? I don't know. I mean, next turn we're going to get another... Four. Sorry, two. Two, four, yeah. On this guy. But we're going to lose that. Would we... Pass? Yes. So this will go away. And they're playing. So they're going down to three cards. You fight me or you watch her die. They go down two. I mean, sure. Two cards down, yeah. 400,000 ICQ. IQ. Um, now, given they're down, they're probably just going to dry around. So we could do with having the cultist mm, around just in case. I don't want to push back anything. you got to go keep your sister company. I got this. Thank you very much for joining and for helping me with this deck. Um, and all the things. So yeah, thank you again. Citrine, have a great time with your sister. And the rest of the week, if I don't see you. They are playing Saskia. Are they... not aware that they have two cards less? I suppose maybe they're just trying to bleed me. And maybe it's going to work. But let's play Melusine. So that we can bring her back. Easy P Z Pi Z Kelpy Kelpi. I mean, I can do a terrible American accent if you want, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Right, we also could do with getting rid of this. I, you know, noticing that it is is there. But we don't really have anything which can do immediate damage, which is a bit of a problem. So maybe that's why they're happy to play on, because they know that they're actually going to get out some cards here. Uh, we're going to play the Cultist, I think, so that she can be boosted. Great is her hunger, and great is her power! Because they also have a scenario. Hmm. Well, we can do Kelpie. Who now is only saying spawn rain for three turns. So what What else did we take out that... I suppose we took out... Are you sure it's unique? We must have lost something which counted as unique there. Um... I think last time you said put it on the ranged, did you? I oh, know, we'll do this. It can't boost itself. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. 
Anyway. Uh, we'll just spread these out. And maybe Messenger of the Sea next. Yeah. I'll put the Messenger of the Sea in this gap, actually. The fish. Fish came out. Yeah, we, I mean, we put a fish. We still have a fish and the sea serpent in there. But Citrine was saying that it was um, unique things. But it's just about the number, I think, then. Or you're saying to play Kraken. If you are, then. I, sorry, I missed that instruction. Sends blessings. Repay her with reverence. Because Kraken's not technically a fish. You are saying fish. Go fish. Like this thing. <laughs> Go fish in my graveyard for things. Non-neutral unit from your graveyard. Bring out a um Bow before modern Messenger of the Sea. Go big this fish. Well that's this different. Anyway. So I guess we'll go uh Kraken next then. Although I don't, we're not going to have enough turns to play all the things for that. It's not like it's going to do anything in a small round. Yeah. We need the rain spread so that we get more boosts happening. Um, so, Kraken followed by Scepter followed by this. Okay, so we need 46 points somewhere. So we're going to play Kraken here. We're going to... We can't pull that thing. Um... Guess it doesn't matter. That's going to keep boosting, though. Things which might be killable. Only. And we'll still play that. End the turn. I mean, there's no point increasing the length of things, increasing the duration. Because we, we don't have the way to play the guy who finishes it off for us. So if that does that just mean that we've completely lost? Increased all row effectuations by one. Which, you know, I can do that with this. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think I have a way to win this. Cannot force Mother Nature, a damn stubborn when she is. I mean I can get three 15, 13 points. Do I need it? That's gonna do two plus five, seven. So I kind of need to do play this, don't I? If I don't, then I'm an idiot, but oh well. Maybe I should have done one card and then played this and I would have been okay. The I drink with our forefathers. Still lost. 
you needed to do a turn earlier for the sirens to die. I mean, they can have a GG. So, okay, but there was only three sirens on that row, so I still would have lost. Oh no, if I was unlucky. I don't know. Well, this is uh, this is me playing Skelligar. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep trying. Your input is definitely welcome, given this is my first Skelligar Rain Beast, Skelligar Anything deck. Pain. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.